Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Before it was called Oracle Auto View, it was Symmetry Auto View, a no frills simple viewing and markup application for people who have to work with many different 3D CAD formats and files. But after a few acquisitions, Auto View ended up in Oracle's lab. Perhaps the most notable difference is being part of Oracle, AutoView has become more than a standalone desktop edition. The way Oracle markets it, you'll get better use of it as an integral part of an enterprise software suite or a product lifecycle management suite, particularly Oracle Agile. Let's have a look at the desktop portion first. I'm opening a SolidWorks assembly file inside AutoView, so basic zoom, pan, and rotate commands are consistent with the way you do them in CAD programs. You should have no trouble with them. Now, if you need to inspect how the different parts fit together in an assembly, you can also run the explode command to take a look at that. Transform command lets you pull items apart or rotate them, something that would come in handy if you need to see how certain parts fit together inside an assembly, or how far you can rotate or move or shift a certain part before it comes in contact with a nearby part or a wall. What I also like about Oracle Auto View is its cross-sectional view. This lets you see inside the assembly in several different ways. And if you do need to get precise dimensions, verify that something is designed the way it ought to be, you can do measurements. I like the way AutoView gives you the option to measure faces, edges, vertices, or center points. For markup, you can open an annotation session, associate a certain comment with a certain component. You can also be very nitpicky and pick a specific edge or a vertice to discuss. Also, insert link if you have to. And then you can save it so that other collaboration team members can take a look at your comments and your notes. If you need to do a simple general interference check across the board within your assembly, you have a command to identify areas where contacts and clashes are taking place. Then you can go through each occurrences one at a time to decide how you might resolve them. So far, I've been showing you what you can do with the desktop installation of AutoView by itself. Now I'd like to share with you some of Oracle's video reports to explain what you might do by integrating AutoView with an enterprise system. Essentially, AutoView could be automatically triggered to launch whenever you need to view something inside your PLM, your ERP system. In this case, this happens to be Oracle Agile. So you can move from bill of materials to a view of the 3D model itself along with changed notes and the attachments and the change records can be managed inside Agile as well. In 2D diagrams AutoView can be linked to an ERP or a supply chain management system. That could be true especially of piping diagrams or electrical designs, where each connection point, each intersection, could be linked to an ERP or an inventory information. So just by a simple hovering of the mouse, you can see what the joints represent, what the valves mean, and what the connections are. 
Like you just triggered auto view from a PLM or an ERP system earlier, you can also trigger a change request from inside auto view so that it can be deposited and archived into your ERP or a supply chain system. There is still a market for independent viewing and markup applications because, well, let's face it, we still have to juggle numerous file formats in this imperfect workflow. But I think a viewer embedded inside an ERP or a PLM system turns into something else. Inside Agile, AutoView is not just an application to look at 3D models without a CAD program, but it is an application to manage the changes you make on that product, keep track of the ownership of these assignments, and keep an eye on how your changes affect the rest of the supply chain. So until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine with a new view on AutoView.